What's going on everyone? This is Al from Tech 101. Today's quick video is about the AMD Ryzen platform and RX graphics cards. Are they worth it for gaming in 2018? Let's face it. Most people think smartphones and iPads and tablets are computers. We can't afford to lose any more people due to high PC component pricing. Going back a year and a half ago, the RX series was launched and it was a great value budget graphics card. And now the RX graphics cards more than doubled in some cases due, due to the rise of crypto mining. And now for the first time, Nvidia and Intel became budget and best bang for your buck when it comes to gaming, especially when Intel dropped their processor prices on the i5 and i7. Let's take a look here. I chose Ryzen 7 to compare with the Intel i7 and i5 series here. As you can see, their best valued Ryzen 7 at 1800X is 300 bucks. Then 1700X is 249 and the 1700 is 230. Let's take a look at now at the Intel processors. This is the new Coffee Lake 6 core 12 thread i7 processor 8700K is 330, just a little bit more than 1800X. Also, we have the Intel i5 8600K, which is about the same price as the Ryzen 7 1700. Or you could go for the older i7 Gen 7700K, which is also fantastic for gaming, for $280. So, let's move on to the RX 580 graphics card. As you could see, after searching many different places and finding eBay has probably the best current pricing for the RX 580, Four gigabyte, which is going to be around 400 bucks, which is double what it originally came out, you know, about a year ago or so, which is very unfortunate. And the performance is no better than the GTX 1060 three gigabyte, which is now on eBay is around 280 to 300 dollars, which is slightly better performer than the RX 580. So it seems that there is no reason to invest at a Ryzen and RX build nowadays if you want to only game since the Intel's single core performance is always going to outperform the Ryzen chips. Uh, that's just the way it is. I mean, whoever knew that this would come to a point where Intel built with a GTX in Nvidia GTX card would be a better budget build than the AMD but things happen so hopefully sooner or later the pricing will drop down on the RAM and the graphics cards so we could go back to the AMD world to the original budget king please let me know what you think and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so I can make more videos Thank you and have a nice day.